the end is here the end of another year has happened again this is the ending of the world this is the big conclusion and SME wrestling is here to end off the year with a bang tonight's big ending will have the final extreme battle between good and evil so Lewis there is no more hiding from me anymore you have no choice but to face me again at Havoc we're gonna have an extreme rules match for my baby right here I a big clash between three men who want one prestigious prize. At Havoc, it's going to be Macmillan vs. Sire vs. me, motherfucker, in a triple threat match for that internet championship. You put it? The match won't fight you two fools? That internet championship is mine. And two teams battling in a war zone. The Jericho Appreciation Society is challenging you jackasses to a battle round match. The pro wrestlers win, then the Jericho Appreciate Society is forced to dismember. This is the time where we end off the year with a bang, explosion, and absolute chaos. Here tonight, we're going to see these SME wrestlers bring down the house and cause some havoc. And now, SME Wrestling presents Havoc. This is the final pay per view of 2023. We are going to end off this year with a bang or an explosion. It is time for us to cause some mayhem. It is time for every single SV Wrestling wrestler to cause some havoc. Hello everyone, I'm Kimmy Don, the only commentator for this company. Here we go. Oh, this is our first match of havoc here. We're just getting straight into it, boys. It's time for Joe Anthony's first match back. There he is. Fucking company betrayer Joe Anthony. He betrayed us to go with the Scambos when the Scambos took over. It's for us to think all that shit's all over. But I thought he got fired. Because, you know, Shadow did say if he beat Trapped on CS and WrestleMania 5, which he did, then. All the scam bots, including people who were supporting the scam bots, will get fired from Mystery Wrestling. And for some reason, Jonathan Lee did not get fired. He also disguised himself as a heel police. So, you know, things like Jonathan. I don't know, but like, he's back now, and um, right now he's gone his first match back, but it's gonna be a hell for him. This is not gonna be a good first match back for Joe Anthony, because um, he's gone up against the marionette, the creepy. Freaky Deaky Marionette. Yeah, I'm not sure how well Joffrey's going to go with the marionette here because Shadow, he did not want to see Joffrey back here after what he did last year. But yeah, but Joffrey's back. I can't believe this scumbag is back here, the company betrayer. Thank God I don't have Tyrone Fanboy for this prick. But yeah, but I can't wait for him to get his ass kicked in this match right now by the marionette. You ready, Joe? Here comes. Here he is, just after a month, the marionette is finally getting another match. And this match is going to be interesting because he's got up against an SM Wrestling original here. He's got up against Joe Frickin' Anthony. 
Yeah, so Shao booked this match so that Jeff Lee can like prove himself that he's worthy enough to be like a top guy and stuff. Because you know, once again, Jeff Lee's keep on just mathing off saying that Shao did not treat him right. Well, I'm not sure if that's true because Shao was giving opportunity after opportunity. And right now, Jeff Lee's Mr. Money in the Bank. But like, fucking... Yeah, but now he's going to get what he deserves when he go up against the marionette here. If you want to put your money where your mouth is, Joe, then, uh, yeah, good luck go up against this freak of nature, this marionette, this possessed marionette. Yeah, but, but I don't think Joffrey is really scared of the marionette here because he's kind of fearless. So, yeah, this might be a difficult task for the marionette, but who knows, the marionette still might dominate this whole match and absolutely bash the former Intercontinental Champion, Joe Anthony. Yeah, look, just this possessed marionette, he's trying to refuse to be on all the strings. And now he's here to beat the hell out of the company betrayer, Joe Anthony. And now let's get this match started. Here we go, match has begun between Joe Anthony and the marionette. The marionette's first, sorry, Joe Anthony's first match back since, you know, you have to leave. No, oh, I hate to give the devil his due, but he's fearless. He's staring right in the face of the marionette. Usually, people like get scared shitless and run away, but not Joe Anthony. <laughs> Look at you, Joe, acting all tough and confident. Just, just wait until the fear drives into you. I ain't scared of you. Whoa, you shouldn't have done that, Joe. You just slapped the marionette. <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to spin knee shot, but no, Joe. Oh, come on. Joe Anthony escaped again. Come on, get back in the ring. What you feel you expect to fight this guy? Come on, this is your first match back. Prove your toughness here. No, yeah, this is bullshit here. Shout should not book this match. Oh, shit. The marionette slams Joe Anthony into my announcer. And now he's just slamming Joe Anthony onto the back of the post. And I just ball slam him onto the apron here. And just put him, Joe Anthony, back in the ring. <laughs> Joe Strike with form strike, but uh, the man that blocks. Oh, big boo! This is not looking good for the returning Joe Anthony here. <laughs> oh shit! Look, the man that just strike away. Joe makes sure it's not escape, but Joe blocked the strike. He's trying to give a strike onto the man himself. And he's trying to give it to a good old headlock here. Just stitch down the marionette, but you're not the man is not even face. He's not even faced by this shit. He's pushing away Joe Anthony. Pushes to the ropes and the whole shit will pick up, but Joffy is just trying to escape. He's trying to be all technical with the marionette, trying to do whatever he can to escape from these moves. And he's trying to make sure he stays in the corner, but I don't recommend going to lock up with the marionette. Whoa, look at that. The marionette is ready to fight. Joffy trying to get himself involved. He's trying to get himself you know, involved with the marionette, but ref, ref is pushing away like he should. And now the marionette's got Joffy in a waist lock right here. Make sure he just really does not escape from here. He's grabbing waist lock, make sure Joffrey's not escape. Oh, he's just tossing around like a ragdoll. Joffrey's running up being a joke wing. Oh, uppercut straight to the face. It's not looking good for Joffrey right at the gate here. He might, the marionette's always dominating. But, oh, fuck. The marion Joffrey's got marionette and fireman's care position. And this dull stun gun onto the marionette. Now Joffrey's turn to try to dominate the marionette. And try to ice whip to the ropes here. So, oh, no. Trying to go with single leg drop kick, but the marionette blocked that shit. And now this try to pick up Joffrey. Boom! Hits a rush to Spine Buster. The former Aircon champion looking good here. And I'll just oh, stop onto the gut. Onto Joe Anthony right there. And now the man is slowly dragging away Joffrey. Gone for the first cover of the match with the hook of the leg breaking. Whoa, only a zero count. It's just only a zero. Joffrey gets straight back up. Speed. Oh no, what the fuck are you doing? Look at some buffoon. Oh no, but he hits the man of a flatliner right there. His marionette flat now. Now Joffrey's trying to find a way to do a comeback onto the marionette here. And he's going for Irish whip to the corner. The hell's going to call for here? No, and the marionette still counters Joffrey. Can, Joffrey cannot get any offense. He, can, he cannot get any big moves onto Joffrey. He's trying to go for so far. Oh, no, fuck Joffrey with the counter elbow strike to the face. And oh, God. Joffrey in a clothesline onto the marionette. He's trying to pick up again. But once again, the marionette just stops Joffrey's momentum here. He stops his comeback. And now Marinette got Irish to the corner. Big claw. Oh, fuck. Joffrey counted again. That was going for run -off. Oh, shit. And that time, the single drop kick connects. Marinette is trying to escape from Joffrey. He's taking a breather. But Joffrey falling behind here. Trying to fall behind. Oh, but Marinette caught Joffrey. And boom, hits a strike to the face. 
We're back outside the ring. Marinette is trying to brawl with Jaravi. He's going for a backbreaker. Oh, fuck Jaravi in the car. And Jaravi is trying to escape again. He's trying to get away from the Marinette. Oh, but I have a super kick to the gut, however. Now Jaravi goes Archer into the corner. It's a drop kick onto the back. Drop kick onto the back right there. Now Marinette. Now Jaravi trying to go. Oh, no. He's going for the roll up. Super kick. God fucking damn it. Here's the roll up. Super kick. He's going to go for a cover after roll. Super kick. No, he's not going for a roll up. He's not going for a cover. Instead, hits the ripcord knee. God damn, it's gonna go for. Is this it? Are we gonna see the end of the Marinette's winning streak? Oh no! The Marinette kicked down. Roll for. We're gonna see the Marinette finally lose a match. But no, the Marinette's still a power to kick out. And Jeff is obviously furious saying that was a free. But it was not fucking free. You dip it all! Throws his knee strike, spin knee strike. And I think this is gonna be giving out just like that in quick fashion. The Marinette's called for the string from the Joe Anthony. Now string free with- No, oh, god damn it! Jonathan with the sling blade, fuck! Jonathan just became the first person to counter the string fury. Now Jonathan, yes, man, done, Kofa cover after that sling blade right here. Oh, it's literally just only a one count. It's just only one count right there, man. He's trying to get back up off oh, the disrespect of Jonathan and just kick him while he's down. But Marinette, Marinette did not like the kick of the foot. That just pissed off the Marinette. And just strike. Oh, look at that. Just strike in the face. Strike at Jaraffi's face right there. Jaraffi's getting pummeled right here. And Marinette's calling for the end. He's calling for the end. He's trying to pick up Joe. And he's got a head crank here. A good thing to have Tyrone saying the head T word. Because, you know, Jaraffi's there. And they're just bringing down the head crank. And he's trying to pick up Joe Anthony. Oh, no. Jaraffi the drop breaker. Onto the marionette. And he's trying to pick Oh, he's called for sliced bread. Doll oh, sliced bread. By Jonathan. Now Jonathan's trying to feel some fight up. He's trying to call for a comeback here. And then he's going for, Oh, the forearm strike. And there's another one. Uh, oh, there's a second sling blade right there. A second sling blade by Jonathan. Now he's picking up marionette again. And he's going for another one. Call for a second roll up super kick. Onto the marionette. And I just drag my man in front of him. No, no, he does not come record knee. Stay, go for the cover after the roll-up super kick. No, oh my God, again, it's not enough to take a marionette. It is not enough to end the marionette's winning streak. But Joe's going for a second. He's going for a second rip court knee. Oh, no, there's a second rip court knee. And there's Jonathan going for the cover onto the marionette. I think that could be enough. No, marionette still kicks out. I don't know how the hell you're going to take out the marionette. But it looks like it seems to be impossible, and Jaffrey is getting more frustrated. And it's a standing moonsault right there. Jaffrey cannot seem to take out the marionette. He's getting more and more frustrated here. And Marinette's back up, and Jaffrey strikes strike with the man. Oh, God. Ferocious knee strike. He's just trying to pummel the marionette. He's getting absolutely furious. They could not end the marionette with two ripcord knees. No matter what Jaffe does, he just cannot take out the marionette. He's got him a sleeper, but the marionette is escaping. He's escaping from the sleeper hold. He escaped from the sleeper right there. And spinach. Oh, no. Jaffe dodged at the way. He dodged the spinning knee strike. And bullshit. Oh, God. He tried to go for a spring for maneuver, but the marionette just counters that shit. And I was picking him up. What's it called for here? Oh, oh God. A brutal DDT spiking Jaffe right on the dome. And oh boy, can he connect it this time? Can he connect the string fully at last? Oh boy, this is the beginning of the end of Joe Anthony. Here it comes, the string fury. And oh my fucking god, Joe Anthony had to escape to prevent himself from getting pinned. God damn it, I knew it, I knew it. Joe Anthony knew he was going to lose, so he had to escape the ring, he had to take the coward's way out. What the hell is Mario doing? Oh my god, he's on the top, but we don't, we don't see the Marinette on the top right here. Jaffe better look out here. Oh, he's gone for big dive. Oh no, Jaffe counters it. He strike at the Marinette's gut. Struck to his goal, he's about to go for a big splash. Oh, and he puts the Marinette onto the steel steps right there. And now he's putting the Marinette back in the ring here. And Jaffe's on the apron. Come on, he's calling for the Marinette to get up here. And now the Marinette is... Back up here. Look at this. Oh my god. Springboard knee strike by Joe. And oh no. This is the perfect position to call for the curb stomp. Oh boy. Here it comes. Whoa, no, the man that caught him. He caught Joe by like it. Oh, the backbreaker. It's a backbreaker, Joe. And Joe, he's feeling the pain. And now he's trying to get away. But oh no, Marinette caught him. He caught Joe Anthony. 
Jones about to be done for. Oh, what the fuck? No! Draft League just used the Mind Break briefcase. It gives himself the score fight. I knew that fucking cow was gonna do that shit. My god, he's punching away the marionette here. He lost the match. The marionette's still on the feed, but Draft League still lost. Yeah. I'm here to prove a point here. I don't give a fuck that I have lost. I'm here to prove a point. I'm ready to be the top guy. Really, prove yourself to be a top guy by losing the match against the marionette. What the fuck's he doing now? You know, oh, he's bringing still steps in now. He's bringing the still steps. He took it apart from still steps here. Now he's grabbing hold of the still steps, man. Try to get up. Oh, no. And now Joe Anthony uses the steps of the weapon. Come on. You proved your point. You're trying to be the top guy here. You don't need to do more of this shit. And now what the hell is he doing? Just set up the stairs again. Now what the hell? Oh, no. Oh, no. He's set up the minute. Oh, come on. Seriously, Joe? Come on, seriously, are you serious? Oh, oh my god, curb stomp onto the steel steps, and the marionette just gets taken out. Oh my god. Joffrey just probably just might have killed the marionette right there. My god, I can't believe that just happened. Joffrey had to get himself the score fight, because he knew, he knew he was going to lose. He knew he was going to lose that match here. But he had to be a cow. He did not want to lose. He wanted to make himself look strong. Yeah. That's right, I am booked to be a top guy here, and I will soon be a top guy when I cash in this thing. Yeah, we don't know when Jarvis can cash in, he's still missing money at the bank. Yeah, but can we do that shit to the marionette here? Well, this is Jarvis show. What the hell was that, Jarvis? I just proved point to you. I just destroyed this creepy marionette. You didn't win the match, though. That doesn't prove me anything. It proves to me that I should be there in the top spot. Well, they shoved the German match. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Joe Anthony. And Charles will be pissed off about that. Well, that's the end of part one. Say to part two, where it will be Vanos versus Jacksepticeye, the rematch for the Universal Championship.